Never thought I would see something like this ever. Everybody trying to get their hands on them sex tapes, man. We in the era where OnlyFans and stuff like that is making money. So just imagine how much money you can get off a celebrity sex tape. Yo, Reg, we live? Hey, man, we live. Yo, let's get down to business, man. A lot of people don't know what's going on. Jamie Foxx laid up in the hospital like Tupac because of them bad boy niggas. He got all the sex tapes in Hollywood, allegedly, and they trying to get him to come up off them tapes. He got in living color mixtapes, Keenan Ivory Waynes, Damon Waynes, DeMarlin Waynes, all them, allegedly. Him dressed up like Wanda, Jennifer Lopez, back when she had the fat butt. Don't y'all know how much money he could make off them tapes, especially with OnlyFans and all this stuff running rampant? In the future, if you got a celebrity on camera doing anything that they ain't supposed to be doing, they gonna pay you millions, if not billions of dollars for that. And y'all don't think Jamie Foxx know that? They got the Freaknik documentary coming out. And you know, when that hit the streets, everybody wanna see who was doing what and where they was at. And plus, it's okay when Kim Kardashian got a sex tape, but every time a brother got a sex tape, he either die or go to jail. Same thing happened with R. Kelly. Jamie Foxx is a grandfather with sex tapes. Where they do that at, oh man? And Diddy allegedly trying to get him to come up off them tapes, man. Jamie Foxx talked about Puffy Combs and all his men's secret parties. They got the tape out. It's leaking. Jamie Foxx in the hospital trying to figure out what the hell happened. The same way Pac was, man. And when he get out, he already got a living color tattooed across his belly. So it's gonna be a war as soon as Jamie hit them streets. Back shots versus missionary. Ain't gonna be no East Coast, West Coast beef. And his daughter is out here wilding. Y'all gotta look at this. This is the saddest thing I've seen all year. Jamie Foxx's daughter is crazy for fame. A father in the hospital and she really don't give a damn. She's so concerned about that bag and being famous. She making it seem like she waiting for her father to die so she can cash a bigger check, man. And as far as Diddy go, it's a rumor allegedly that he warned Jamie Foxx, you're going to have to come up off them tapes, bro. Because if it get out how it was really going down back in the day at them Hollywood party show, look, look at this, man. Jamie Foxx got a joke where he said he remember when J-Lo was hey-ho. Oh so what was really going on back then? The In Living Color sex tapes. All the Wayne's brothers on the wall. You got the fly girls backing that ass up to some In Vogue or some shit, man. I'm talking about this stuff is worth billions of dollars. Yo, Reg, open up the phone lines, man. And y'all need to call in here and let me know what y'all think about this. We gonna be talking about this for a hot little minute, man. Y'all need to hear the joke Jamie said about Jennifer Lopez. Also, hit that cash app too. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I got so much love for y'all. I would really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get back into these hot documents, man. Listen to what Jamie had to say about J-Lo. Yo, Reg, go ahead and play that, bro. About, you know, Puffy and Jennifer. And she got mad. I saw her at the Grammys. And she was upset with me. Now, you know, I know Jennifer from In Living Color. You know, she was the fly girl and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? We go back. You know what I'm saying? I remember before the J-Lo, you know. I remember when it was just, hey, hey, ho. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, man. Before she got all super duper famous, before she became the celebrity she became, before she went on to be Miss Latin America, Jamie remember when she was just hey ho everybody was throwing some ass back then allegedly and this man got every last video footage you can imagine he could come up off of a billion dollars if this stuff hit the streets if he wanted to put it out there like that he could definitely do it man and you got people in Hollywood scared just like people that was down at the freak neck people married they done moved on. You got pastors out there that was doing three ways back in the day. You got school teachers, grandmothers, people.
people trying to follow the Lord and you got some sex tape shit circulating. They said it was an old lady on the roof with a sniper rifle, but the only way they caught her, they had to follow the baby powder all the way to the balcony, man. Now I want to see Jamie Foxx come home, but it's looking like a lot of celebrities don't want to see him to come home. And the main celebrity, well, wannabe celebrity that don't want him to come home, it's his daughter, man. I hate to say it. She doing the most out here in the news. She expanding her career. She co-hosting music, game shows. If this goes the way that it's looking like she wanted to go, and I hate to be speaking on her like she wanted to see her father get knocked off. But if he do, she just going to take his spot. I can see it now. TMZ, Good Morning America. Everybody going to want to sit and talk with Corinne Fox. I'm talking about Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels. And the only work she going to get in Hollywood is if they do the Alicia Keys remake. Oh, my goodness. The Alicia Keys biopic. Besides that, I don't see what they going to have her doing, man. She going to be doing game shows forever. But either way, she get into a bag. Y'all need to listen at this, man. We have the new detail about Jamie Foxx following his hospitalization last month after a medical emergency. The Oscar winner is now reportedly recovering at a physical rehabilitation center. Our Steve Osasami is here in studio with us with the latest. Good morning, Steve. Good to see you all in person. You know, here's proof how fast and far rumors can fly. For the last few weeks, most of the internet was believing that Jamie Foxx wasn't long for this world. And this morning, his people are announcing he has a new project. Oscar winning actor Jamie Foxx is very much alive this morning and getting help at a physical rehab facility in Chicago after a great deal of worry over his health. Hold on, wait a minute. Something wrong with the phone lines? Cause this shit, hold on, Reg. Yo, check, check the screen, bro. I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh man, I, this can't be happening again. Yo, somebody need to call and let me know if something good with the phone lines or not. Oh, there go the pictures. Oh my God, man, we ain't got the pictures up there. Yo, Reg, hit the computer. Hit the, man, hit the, tap it, nigga. I'm trying. Uh, oh my God, there go the, qu the question flashing on and off. Look, if don't nobody call, we just gonna have to end the stream because I don't know if the computer working or not. And I got a whole bunch of news I was gonna share with y'all. Oh, sh damn, man. Oh my goodness. Can y'all hear me out there? I don't think they could hear us. All right, well, this is what we gonna do. I do apologize for the bootleg screen. If somebody would have hit that cash app, we could have continued with the show, but my computer is all different types of messed up, man. But um, yeah, if we don't get no phone call in like the next five seconds, we just gonna um, end the show. But um, what I was gonna share with y'all was the fact that Jamie Foxx was cool with Diddy like a lot of other people was cool with Diddy, but now, it's looking like they got some beef or whatever. And Jamie laid up in the hospital. And he ain't the first person that had eyes with Diddy and wound it up in the hospital. Yo, Rex, do you think you can cut it off and cut it back on? Hold on, man. I can't do nothing. Oh, man, this shit bootlegged as hell. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo. Hey, Sean. Uh, what's... Calling. Yo, can y'all hear me out there? Yes, and I can hear you. Word, what about the screen? Was the screen messed up too? Yeah, you kind of blacked out on me. Oh, damn. Yo, Reg, get them jumper cables to see if you could get the pictures back up. Oh, damn. Oh, you know what, sister? You a lifesaver. If you wouldn't have called, we would have had to end the stream. But since you called, we about to have a good time. How you doing over there? I'm good. Oh, that's amazing, man. Yo, I'm doing a whole lot better now that you called in. You got me over here feeling real special. Man, <laughs> they talking about Jamie Foxx got tapes going back to the late 80s with all different types of celebrities at these parties. And my question for you is, who do you think was at them sex parties allegedly, man? Everybody and their mama. <laughs> Everybody. Like it was going down, and that's why it's a lot of things not being put out there. And the the clip you showed before with the news reporting Jamie's uh, being in the hospital, 
the news reporter, he was so focused on the rumors and what the internet had to say. So that tells me, like, why are you focused on the rumors if, you know, you should be reporting the news and the story? So that tells me it's some shady business going on. Yeah, it's definitely some shady going on. Now, I could see if it was just black peoples that he was partying with, but Jamie was the type to party with all different types of people. He was in a bunch of different circles. So if he out there filming people coming to his house, then a lot of people feel a way about that. Of course, they was on candid camera. <laughs> they don't like that. They... But, you know, it's okay when Kim Kardashian or somebody like that got a sex tape. How come when a brother got a tape, it's the end of the world? Like, oh, he needs to go to jail for having a sex tape. Can you imagine if Tyrese or Bobby Schmurter had a sex tape? They'd probably get gunned down in the street. <laughs> Yeah, it would be, you know, they want to keep it on a hush. That's exactly they, that, what they want to do, man. They want to keep Kanye it on a hush. It's the Kanye big ego. No <laughs> doubt. That's real, ma. And you know, I ain't trying to get all up in your personal business, but have you ever, like, you know, flipped that camera on and, and did your thing, mama? Oh, my goodness. Absolutely not. I... I am um, appreciating my privacy and big on privacy. So, so you ain't never did a little video. Oh no, (laughs) no, I leave that for the uh, OnlyFans girls. Yo, I ain't even going front. I did a little video before, and I was disgusted with myself. Like, yo, why I was making all them faces? I was looking like I was about to die. I ain't know if it felt good or felt bad. The stank faces was ridiculous, man. <laughs> oh, no, Sean. Yeah, I'm good off those. No doubt, man. So You end up with people like, look, the J- Jamie, Beck, Jamie Foxx situation. So Yo, all them people Diddy was with. Sean, French Montana. You know the city girls and all them, they be showing up to the parties, too. I mean, he been with the old and the new. And come to find out, Jamie Foxx been documenting this stuff for a long time. Yeah, I didn't know that. This is all new. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's definitely some shady business going on. Yo, definitely. (laughs) He's talented, too. He has a, you know, a little catalog and, you know... Oscar nominations and stuff like that. He has a lot of accolades. So I feel like this is another plot to get another successful black man, you know, in some BS. No doubt, Ma. We was wondering, did you just wake up or something? Because, I mean, you called (laughs) in, and we appreciate that phone call, but hold on, let me see how many people in here. They... What y'all mad well, about out there? People not hit. Can y'all hit them like buttons? She just woke up. She had a long day at work yesterday. I did have a long day, Sean, yeah. but I was enjoying the show. No doubt. And I wanted to get my feedback, so mm. I'll let you continue on with the show. No, you can't do that because we don't bond it now. And you trying to leave? Oh, you my, you my first caller. What you don't think you appreciate or something? So what you sound sleepy? Sleepy is sexy when it comes to you, and I ain't trying to get at you because I'm going to okay. try to be your brother before I ever try to be a lover, but I got to let you know right now. I'm really feeling your style, though. Oh, thank you, Sean. No doubt. And I'm feeling your style. I'm feeling your show. Mm-hmm. And keep doing, you know, what you doing. Yo, I'm going to do that. Live out here. Word up. I'm live out here in these streets, my... And we don't want you to be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it, all right? All right, man. You take care. All no right. doubt. All right. You goodbye. Too. Yeah. No <laughs> doubt. Yo, that's what I, I know she was in the bed with the bonnet on, man. She rolled over and said, let me call my baby daddy. His stream acting up. That's real love right there. And for the people out there that was watching the show crashing and burning and you wasn't even considering calling. <sighs> It's some sad souls out there, but I ain't going to dwell on the negativity. We got to get back to these sex tapes. Man, look, Diddy is a wild boy. 
and Jamie Foxx is known to be a very wild boy. So can you even imagine them together at a party trying to outdo each other? No wonder they be playing butt naked basketball allegedly. Oh my he dunk on your ass with the legs gapped open, sack all on your eardrum. You posting up playing D with a six footer and his ass all on your chest, man. Next thing you know, Buster Rhymes come out the bathroom, woo ha! Ain't even wipe his ass talking about passing me the rock. And they had the audacity to say that Jigger Man was on the basketball court butt naked. Now you know that's a damn lie. And shout out to Jay Z. But he ain't never been in shape. Oh my so if he was out there with the taco meat on his chest, I'm pretty sure his team won the game. But that's Negro here nor there, man. All that testosterone flaring, they beating on their chest. The condoms don't fell off. They better be glad they can't get pregnant. Yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, this King Tone. What's good, brother? Yo, what it do, brother? How you feeling over there? Oh, man, I'm chilling like a villain, sipping on iced tea with a lemon. Man, allegedly, did he warn Jamie Foxx to come up off of them tapes, man, because the world we headed in, it's all about exposure, man. If you got what it takes to expose somebody then you can get paid top dollars, especially as these celebrities get old and they don't change their lives and they don't do the stuff that they used to do and they don't want this oh, type yeah. of stuff to resurface and you got this type of stuff, oh, they coming for oh, your these, head. Yeah, man, these platforms thirsty out here, man. They thirsty and they got the money to pay for some foolishness. Exactly. Just imagine TMZ get a tape where uh, Genuine Tank and Tyrese doing something they ain't got no business doing, man. Right, right. Shit, man, I, I ain't want too much, big dog. Just salute you, man. Keep up the work, bro. No, nah, bro, it don't work like that. You called in, now you got to stay in all that. I'm going to do you like Kathy Bates in Misery. Better yet, I'm going to lock you down like how Jamie Foxx's daughter doing him. And I'm going to tell the news that you doing all right, even when you not. You got to answer this question, bro. You just can't call in and lead the show. Like, the show so butt. The show so cheeks that you just calling in for sympathy. This ain't the goodwill and all that. You got to answer this question, brother. What's good, bro? Who do you think was at those Diddy sex parties? Out of all the people in the industry, who do you think was up in there being the most freak nastiest? Oh, man. I, I think athletes, shit, most shit, rappers, all, man, movie, th movie uh, actors and actresses. I think all type of people was in there, man. This is, the, the industry is crazy. I, I think once you get to a certain level, you land down anyway, in some type of way. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just my, my personal opinion. Man, you remember in high school, if you wanted to be with the cool kids, you had to dress a certain way, act, right. talk a certain way. You had to do stuff yeah. that they did. If you weren't with it, they don't even want you in their circle. Oh, homie don't smoke weed? Okay, well, get him from around her, because that's all we do is blow dro in my group oh right he don't like the um bag chicks that's what we do we get together go to the mall and bag chicks he ain't with it he can't hang with us man so in hollywood exactly. you gotta be exactly. with the shits facts that's just like the dude that was in creed i don't know if you've seen all the pictures they had him come out in taking all type of crazy crazy pictures man yeah they had him with the pink blouses he had his legs yeah. crossed with the lips poked out lip Trip. gloss popping Trip. It was crazy, bro. The craziest thing I ever seen in my life, man. Yo, we appreciate you too, big dog. And don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. Real talk, man. Very up, man. I'll at you later, my G. Very. Yo, he said something that was very profound. Or did I say it? I think I said it, man. When you in them Hollywood circles, man, and you want to sit at their table, who the f are you, man? They pull out that Yola, you better sniff it. Because if you don't, they're going to be looking at each other like, man, get him the fuck out of here. And when it's time to party, you better be willing to go all the way. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? <laughs> this is Kia Lewis. Oh, my goodness. Um, who do I think that he was out there with at the parties? Oh, my 
We need you to cut that off in the background while you trying to be the joker and all that. Got me over here shaking in my boots. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Yo, anyway. you must have came through the TV like the ring, and that's why you can't go back and turn that shit off. Uh, well, I know one thing. Charlie Sheen. I, Charlie Sheen likes to party. You have to excuse my voice because it's paralyzed. My main vocal cords is paralyzed on the right side. But yeah, I think Charlie Sheen was at... A couple of them parties. Ma, we need you to turn around, get back in the TV, and turn it off. Because it's, <laughs> this shit is loud. Don't come over here, go back, and turn the TV off, and then come out the TV. My TV ain't on. Oh, well, whatever it is, man. This some paranormal activity shit. But we're going to let you keep on talking. No doubt. W what about Charlie Sheen? Uh, you say who was at them parties? So when they get downright dirty at these parties, you know Charlie Sheen was a partier. You know he had the hookers. He had uh, he had everything you needed. And so I think Charlie Sheen. I think he might have been a the movie star. Yeah, I think he was at them parties too. That's don't get me wrong. That's Man, I don't want to go to no party. I don't want to do nothing right now. I'm afraid to go to sleep and shit, man. <laughs> you should be. And, and why you, you say that, man? Hold on, where my crucifix? Why, why, why the hell you say that? <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Um, why would you say that? Uh -uh. Why would you be scared to go to sleep? Uh -uh. Wake up. Uh -uh. God bless you to see another day. Every day, please. And exactly, exactly. I, I ain't gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna celebrate my 51st birthday. My, why did I'm you do? Blessed. Why? Why did you do this? Why? Who put you up? Did <laughs> because did Diddy put right you up to this? To oh, yo, I appreciate you so much, Ma. Don't ever forget that. You know what? I ain't got nothing but love for you, man. I'm gonna pray for you and all that. Put the holy water Thank on your you. forehead and all that, Thank man. You. you no doubt, my. And don't you be no stranger, please. And just I buy. Sure won't oh, be. Oh, 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 shit. It gets stranger and stranger. You know what I'm saying? But you still my. Oh, 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 oh. You have a blessed day on purpose, okay? But I, yo, I will definitely do that, my. And we gonna holler oh. at you another time, okay? All right. All right. You take care, beautiful. You be you good. Too. All right. Take care. <sighs> Nigga, I'm scared. I'm scared. No, that ain't the right music. Nigga, I'm scared. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to talk about Diddy. I don't want to talk this shit. She done took this show and uh-uh. I need to repent. I might as well confess all my shit, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Oh, hello. Hi, it's Dima. You said who now? Bila. DR. Who that? Oh my goodness. Bila. B E L A. Oh, what's up, Ma? How you feeling over there? I'm good. How are you? Yo, I'm over here. I needed a, a tender somebody to call in to snap me out of it, man. I'm over here. I'm trembling. This I got it. I got it. Boo. What, what's going on? Oh, uh, like you. The question was, who was? I think all of them. Is all these celebrities orgy parties? All of them. The whole uh -huh. Hollywood was out there. All of them, uh, sir. All of them. You know what? I always wonder if Keith Sweat was a part of them. <laughs> Keith Sweat. You you know he yeah. was sweating at them parties and shit. <laughs> I always wondered. I was a fan of his, but I I wonder if he was a part of them. Yo, I wouldn't doubt it at all. R and B singers, rappers, you name it. That's right. That's right. And then you know they have to. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but I don't look up to them. I don't even watch them. I said, what for? All they're just doing is acting. Why Why look up to these disgusting celebrities, right? Man, you figure back in the day what? when everybody yeah, yeah. didn't even have a TV, 
and you see a uh-huh. celebrity, it's like, wow, you really looking at the stars. Like you probably never ever That's right. see them people unless you see them on the TV. So if you ever got the chance to see them in person, you would be overly excited. But nowadays, people don't give a damn about celebrities. Yeah, people you, just, you're right about that. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's all about that clout. So if you got some sex tapes, uh-huh. people going to do what they got to do for the clout. That's what, Yeah, you're right about that. You're right. But mm. I, I don't look up to these. I don't. Why should I bother watching them? What am I? For what reason? And they do what they do for what? Man, I don't even know. But the crazy yeah. part about it is Jamie <laughs> Foxx is in the hospital the same way Tupac was laid up in there. And it got me thinking like, yo, Diddy don't be playing, allegedly. No, he don't. But nobody knows what's going on because Hollywood is fake. And we don't know. They can say he's hospitalized, but for, for what reason? What's his medical condition? I don't know if they say what it is, but something is going on. Yo, something is definitely going on, man. This dude... He so why are we worried? Well, what are we worried for? <laughs> what are we worried for, right? You want to know why we worry, Ma? And I'm going to keep it a buck. This is the reason why All we right. worry. Because yeah, yeah. black folks already got it kind of sketchy out here. Like, they could yeah. throw you in a can, and ain't nobody coming to get you out. It's your word against theirs, and they're going to take their word. So when you get a celebrity like Jamie Foxx that don't yep. been to the highest of heights, Hollywood yeah. movies, R&B albums. He's been doing his thing for a long time. To get to mm-hmm. this point in his career, to be laid up in the hospital and they playing games in the news, that just goes to show. People yeah. really don't give a damn about a brother for real. You know, but we do. I'm I'm Arab. You know that? I'm Arab. So we do. What you, you know, we, we're about the same. We are, we are about the same, you know, for real. Hold on. Wait a minute. You said you Arab? Yeah. I'm Arab. Yes. You better not let your husband know that you called up here. Oh, <laughs> no, don't worry about that. I'm okay. I'm all right. Are yeah, you single or face. something? Like, how? how do yeah. You, he let you? Yeah. Yeah, divorce. Yeah. So but, you could do what you want to no. do. Uh, that's if I want, but I don't go that far. <laughs> but anyway, but you know what? But we about, I'm telling you right now, but we're, we're the same thing. I'm telling you. Yo, man. Out of Africa, we the same, I'm telling you. I've been looking for a long time, and I ain't know it was just going to land in my lap like that. Get, get out. Are you for real? First time I air women call? Yeah, that's me. Because I, I watch your show. You make me laugh. <laughs> so you mean to tell me I got beautiful Arab dimes that be watching my show? Yeah. Yeah, I watch because I, I, you make me laugh. It's so damn funny. Yo, I grew man. Up around, I grew, I'm telling you, I grew up on... I grew up around black people. I went to school with them. And we are all the same. I'm telling you. Shit, man. I'm trying not to sin. But you about to make what? me sin bad. Oh what the What the hell? What? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm saying you got that. Um, is it Middle Eastern? What is that? It's, it's yeah, exotic. Yeah. Middle, yeah, we Middle Eastern. But yeah. I was. Yeah. 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 And, and, and plus, we're, you what? ain't all out here like a thot. You know how to put some clothes oh, on your hell ass? No, 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 no. I'm modest. No, 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 no. Oh I don't my do God. that. A classy no. woman. You ain't out here with the thotty waddy nonsense. No, never. Never, ever. No way. Yo. In any one shape or form, I'm telling you. The last chick I was with, I damn near had what? to fight her to put some clothes on. You gonna be <laughs> fighting me just to keep your clothes on. Oh no, I'm not. I don't, I don't do anything like that. I'm modest. I dress all in black, and I like the way I am, and that's it. I get comments, but you know what? I get compliments all the time. But you know, I don't pay attention. I'm like, oh, thank you, and I, or I just ignore. I don't, I don't really pay attention. Yo, For man, the, the last that's chick I was like dealing with, I what? was gonna get married to her. I saved up a bag and everything. I bought a wedding mm-hmm. ring, and you want to know why yeah. she called it off with me? Why? Because. Why? She didn't get a slice of cheesecake. I wanted to get her the cake. The line was long. She lost her shit over the cheesecake, man. So I took the wedding money and went and bought me a new whip. Yo, look at the whip. I was about to spend on that whip. Look at that. And bought me a new car, man. Yo, look at the whip, y'all. Would rather be married, but this car is beautiful. What's going on? She over there? She's beautiful too, but she ain't. Hold up, my hold up. It is what it is, man. Life goes on. Guess I'm gonna have to take this journey by myself. Oh my God, that I do. Look at the motherfucking wheels. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I was going to take that money 
pay for the uh-huh. wedding, pay for all that type of stuff, man. Yeah, but yeah, instead, yeah. I had to go buy me a whip. So are you married? Are you looking? Are you available? What's going on with you? Yeah, what? But we, we, it's all about the. We talking about these celebrities. That's what. what the, that's what we were talking about, right? You just scared that your husband gonna come in there with the cape oh, no, on and no, get no. the beat, beat, beating that ass. Oh no, no, none of that. No, I swear to God, none of that. None of the what you just said. No. Why? You, why yeah, you ain't? Good. Why that smoke alarm beeping like that? Oh, there's no smoke. That's from the outside. Somebody's cutting the grass. Somebody, damn, that lawnmower needs some new oil. That smoke got the smoke alarm going off. Yeah, somebody's cutting that grass outside, yeah. It is but what yeah, it is, so, man. No doubt. And yeah. I appreciate you to death. Like, whenever you feel but, like calling are you back. Are serious? Because I'll be hearing you be like, all right, all right. Yo, no <laughs> doubt, <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, <laughs> she the Egyptian lover. You fake talking me? I, what you doing? You fake talking me? No, we ain't fake talking nothing. I'm keeping it all no the way real with talking. you. No smooth talking. Man, I tried to let you off lightly, but I need you bad, okay. you know? I know you ain't that type of girl, and I know you all about Allah, but me, oh, I yeah. see the quality in you, and I really yeah. do love your style, you know what I'm saying? We need to be yeah. friends, and maybe we can do this every weekend. I don't know. Yeah, how? How do I do that? Yo, however we gonna do it, we gonna figure it out, man. I got so yeah. much love for you, ma. Change that battery, and we gonna holla at you later. Real talk, ma. Ah, right, you be good now. All right, take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, when I step up in the gas station, y'all better show me some love, or else I'm taking your girl. Now you speaking my language, my friend? Your baby mama want Blaze, man. Give me all them crackers, all them chips. Give me all them Lucy's. Give me all them Dutches and all that, man. I'm taking over. Matter of fact, let me behind the register. Want 10 on 20 or what you want to do? Got A-Rab love out here. How many YouTubers you know got A-Rab love out here, man? But that's Negro here nor there. Yo, shout out to my Arabian people. I still ain't never had no halal food, so I'ma get with y'all real soon. But that's Negro here nor there. Yo, and y'all get over to my IG too, man. Show me some love. I got this chick throwing up on the IG. Look at this y'all. Eating all that domino. domino. Eating all that pizza. Eating all that papa. Yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? The fuck was that all about? Oh, look at this y'all. Look, 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 look. No, no. Y'all gotta see this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all gotta see this shit. Look at this, man. Look at this shout out, Gatto. She giving a free concert at the welfare office. They paying her with food. Hold on, no, no, no. I need to um, run that back. I do apologize. Y'all bear with me while I get this together. Hold up. Okay, y'all gotta look at this shit. Her rap name is MC Kangaroo. Hold on, y'all. It's only gonna take a second. Where was it? Okay, look at this. Look at this shout out, Gatto. She giving a free concert at the welfare office. They paying her with food. Her rap name is MC Kangaroo. Squeeze on her butt cheeks together, she got a poo. Somebody keep calling her name Tyrone, is that you? She rapping, trying to find a baby daddy. That child support money coming handy. She taking them kids candy. Look at that shout out. Look at that shout Look at that shout Yo, if y'all not on my IG, y'all missing out, man. Everybody need to get over there. Enjoying my IG, man. It's a shame that I only got like two people following me, man. So y'all need to help a brother out. And I'm working on more material. People blowing my phone. Hold on, man. That a rap chick called me back. Yo, I knew she was a freak, but damn. Yo, these hairy booty pictures ain't gonna cut it, though. Let's get back to this Jamie Foxx news, because that's what y'all came here for, man. Y'all got to see this real quick. News about Jamie Foxx, who appears to be well on the road to recovery, improving by the day, and he's certainly in the right place. So we know earlier this month, Jamie was transferred from a hospital in Atlanta to a facility in Chicago. This is like considered one of the best rehab facilities in the country. Although the exact nature of Jamie's medical emergency was never released, we know this particular facility specializes in stroke recovery. As Okay, this is the part that tripped me out, man. They got Jamie Foxx in a rehab facility. People thinking he trying to get right because he had a stroke. And if he did, I pray that he get well soon. But you got other people out here 
saying allegedly it's a possibility that it's narcotics involved. He wowed out on the Hollywood set when he found out people was trying to take $40,000 from him. And to a Hollywood celebrity, $40,000 really ain't no money. So why would you wild out, have a brain hemorrhage pass out over 40 K and it hurt him so bad that he's still in the hospital and it got to go through rehab. I'm starting to think people in Hollywood ain't really got no money like that. And they out there struggling, trying to figure out how they going to pay them bills. And Netflix is the only shit that's hiring to me. It seemed like Netflix is the labor ready for entertainers. You go up there, depending on your resume, they'll give you a job. They'll give you a role. But for a lister like Jamie Foxx to have like five Netflix movies and ain't nobody never said nothing about him getting 20 mil a flick. When they pay celebrities big money, especially black celebrities, they let the world know Dave Chappelle getting 20 mil for his comedy specials. Chris Rock getting 10 mil for his comedy specials. So all the movies Jamie made, why they ain't make an announcement about the big Jamie Foxx budget? And why wouldn't he, why would he take work for the low after he don't want an Oscar? That's what got me thinking this whole rehab situation. I don't know. And I ain't trying to spread no rumors and put it on Jamie, but it's a bunch of rumors out here because ain't nobody keeping it real and letting the public know what's really going on. Now I understand that they want their privacy and rightfully so, but it wasn't no privacy when he was allegedly playing them butt naked basketball games or when he was doing all the other stuff he'd been doing in his career. It's a bunch of stuff. That ain't never been no secret. Unseen old footage of Jamie Foxx during his freak parties hit the web. <clears throat> and I ain't even about to share some of this stuff, man. Look at this, man. The video was shot at an after party at Jamie's mansion in LA roughly 10 years ago, right around the time when he was blowing up for his role in Ali. Fox sporting nothing but a pair of red briefs white sneakers and a basketball hat gets downright funky in front of a group of his friends while princess i want to be your lover plays in the background oh man so he out there wiggling booty in front of his guests with that prince playing in the background look that's his prerogative people do stuff like that and ain't nothing wrong with being a fan of prince and if he liked the party, he ain't the only person that liked the party. When has partying became such a, such a bad thing, man? They trying to demonize everything that people used to do in the past. They trying to demonize old people for playing bingo. Especially when they be doing it in the house of the Lord. Oh that is kind of foul, but you figure hell. They old as hell. They should have a little bit of fun. They trying to demonize everything people used to do in the past. People that use porter potties are disgusting. That's just one example. People been partying since forever. The Greeks and Romans, they got statues of them having orgies and shit. But now since Jamie Foxx like to get loose off that goose and get together with his buddies and have a good time. They making it seem like he's a terrible individual, man. And what else you going to do when you got a million dollars in the bank? You might as well while out. It ain't like you can take the money with you. I don't blame them for partying up in Hollywood like that. I think broke people limited the partying with security guards around. When you got paper, security ain't going to be able to tell you shit because that's your house. But that's Negro here nor there. Look, we ain't getting no phone calls, man. I need y'all to do me a favor. Yes, I have an attitude because this is ridiculous. If it wasn't for the beautiful Arabian lady, we would have just never got a phone call. We got all these people up here. Ain't nobody hit the like button. What part of the game is that? 
How can so many haters be in one place at once, man? Prove it to yourself that you're not a hater. And I know a lot of people got mad when I showed my IG. And I put the new whip up there that I had to buy because Shorty called off the wedding over a cheesecake. What y'all want me to do, man? I ain't gonna stop making YouTube videos because you mad. You might as well hit the like button and show me some love. Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself, man. And hit the cash app, too. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I would really appreciate that, though. Let me see if anybody hit that cash app before I get out of here because we ain't getting no phone calls. Humble Waters. Where you at, ma? Thank you so much. Mika Boston, Maria Mitchell, Melanie um, Hazleton, uh, Tawana Christian, and Phyllis Thomas. Thank you all so much for them cash apps, man. We got people out there that do be showing me some love, so don't think I'm trying to be a tyrant. I just think it's kind of bizarre that we got all these people up in here and ain't nobody really hit the like button like that. It's a cold game, but that's Negro here, no there. I'm going to give you all a little more news before I get out of here because there's a few things I wanted to share with you all before I go so I can make my point clear about this Jamie Foxx and Diddy beef because allegedly Diddy warned jamie fox allegedly that he need to come up off them tapes why did he didn't make the cut for oliver stones any given sunday so when you go to these auditions in hollywood allegedly this is how it goes when you get up in there and you do your audition you got to put a little bit of sugar on top just to get them directors to really feel you for the role, man. You might have to jump across the desk and do something strange to get that role. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello, this is Pam. Oh, what's going on, Pam? How you feeling over there? I'm feeling fine, dear. Just listen to your show. I really love your show. Oh, I've been watching for a minute now. Oh, Pam, I got so much love for you, sisters. Is this your first time calling in? Yes, it is. Oh, man, tonight but you I said... I watch it all the time. Oh, man, I'm over here. I'm so grateful for you because I know that you watched the show other times and was like, uh, I ain't going to call. Or I might call, but I ain't going to call. But tonight is the night that you called, and I feel real special for that. Thank you, dear. Real I'm talk, man. Not working tonight, that's all. I'm not just, working. I work, and then I come home, then I rest and watch your show. But, you know, I'll be tired to call. But I really enjoy it, watching it, though. Oh, but, man. you know, today's a good day. I can call in and comment it's a great day you know it's not just a good day it's a great day because you got something freaky on your mind and that's the real reason why you call who do you think was at those diddy sex parties i'm talking about all the celebrities in hollywood could have been up in there well mostly freaky freaky women and freaky men i i, I guess because they like that kind of um atmosphere comedians who want to let go and relax after a show. I don't know, you know, uh, groupies with connections. You know, groupies like to hang out with all the special people and know what's going on. They really know what's going on on groupies. I Real think, talk, I man. I don't know if you know, but I decided in my life to start being more transparent because you got to let people know what's going on. These soul ties out here is disgusting with people. So can you imagine in Hollywood, if everybody's sleeping with everybody, they spirits got to be all jacked up, man. It's a lot of wickedry that be going on in them inner circles, especially when they be having orgies or whatnot. I guess so. That's how they rotate and communicate and what is the other word? Network. <laughs> You know what? Let's cut through the chase, man. Have you ever did the booty on cam? No. <laughs> never in your life. You ain't never twerked something for them cameras. No, I would not be on camera. I make sure that I don't want to be on no one's no camera at all. You ever no been cameras, to Mardi Gras? No phones, no nothing. Nope. Freak Nick. Yeah, I heard about that Freak Nick. I heard when you was running that little thing. I was funny. <laughs> Hold on, you ain't never been a freak, Nick Neva. 
Oh, you was born in people by you been if you been born in the nineties, you could have been a popular the freak Nick. That was funny. And then it made me think back. I go, let me think back. Cause I got a son who was born in nineteen ninety. That's funny. Hold that on. is so funny. No. <laughs> you said you got a son that was born in nineteen ninety? Yeah, stop it. So your era was like the seventies or whatever. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yo, yes. it is what it is, Ma. You know, it's a bunch of people out here that's living and loving their life. I don't feel like they should be judged for that. But, but no, when they start to get the old, wild party. no doubt, man, it'd be people that be going to the wild parties and stuff. But I don't blame them, though, because people got to do what they got to do regardless. <laughs> and that's why we want to thank you so much for your phone call, Ma. And we don't want you to be no stranger. And make sure you call back whenever you feel like it, love. All right, holla at you later, Ma. No doubt, no doubt. Okay. Holla at you Bye. later. All right, goodbye. <laughs> She's trying to act like she ain't never did nothing strange for a piece of change, man. The main one at the Freak Nick back in the day. The main one at the Jigaboo Shakedown or the Chitlin Circuit back in the day. It's been freaks all over the place. Matter of fact, hold on. This heifer want to call off. Yo, look at this, man. Yo, when I went to go get this, right, the dude that sold it to me, he was telling me about the Freak Nick. He was talking about how back in the 80s, they was getting loose with. He said the freak Nick was going down since the 80s. And basically, it was a porno. And I couldn't believe it when he was telling me this stuff, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, what's up, man? Oh, what's Sorry. going on, brother? Yeah, hey, what's good? What's good? It's, it's Q from uh, D.C. No doubt. Q from D.C. is in the building, man. Diddy been running with plenty of people. He been running with Rick Ross. He been running with Meek Mill. He been running. I mean, every hot rapper, every hot celebrity, they know who Diddy is. Who do you think was at them Diddy sex parties, man? Yeah, bro. Almost, almost, almost everybody like in in a, in a Hollywood or so. I mean, almost almost everybody trying to go ahead trying to get their fame on. Everybody trying to get their fame on. It got people waiting in line, fighting to get in the door to get close to the celebrity. So you know they gonna bust it open. Yeah. Which, which is a damn shame. It's a damn shame, but people feel like, hey, if I get a leg in and I get a leg up, I'm gonna be in there good, especially if they know how to do it real good. And that's why this chick <laughs> Tiana Taylor raised so many red flags to me. So many. She ain't got no talent. You got to look out for the people in Hollywood that ain't got no talent, but they still there. And they still get opportunities for what? They got to be giving it up. Mm. Giving it up just to be lucky. Work it up, bro. Yo, whatever's on your mind, the floor is yours. We listening, bro. All right. All right. See, All right. See? the question is, who do you think was at that damn parties? I mean, I could think of a few, but I... I, I, I'm going to go ahead and call out names. That's not the last thing, but yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, we all heard stories. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give like a couple. I know yeah, I'm going to go ahead and forgive you uh, for, for pointing this out. Exhibit, Exhibit, go ahead, uh, told us all what happened the first time. Then in the second part, I, I for some reason, I, I think I heard like, yeah, Cam Cameron said something about Maze Gun or so, because because at one time he found he found something so disturbing. I, I don't I don't want to go I don't even want to go deep on that. But it's yeah it's yeah it's it's pretty shady and sketchy at the same time. You know. Nah, we too busy listening to your elegant conversation, bro. I'm over here appalled. Like, damn. Where did you graduate from? You are professional <laughs> and educated and all that. Ah, my G, my G. Hey, hey, I just, hey, sometimes, hey, you know, right about now and and today's day, you 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 gotta stay woke and you gotta stay humble and aware because yeah, you know, life is yeah, life is short, bro. If you want to, yeah. If you want to go ahead, stick around. You got. Sometimes you got, you got, you know, just look the other way or just keep your mouth shut. 
Yo, that last part, that's you said something when you said that right there, man. And that's some people best bet, man. You might as well just go on and just, you know, shut that yapper. Especially if you ain't got nothing to talk about. And I ain't talking about you, but I'm just saying in general. People mm. be trying to talk about stuff and don't even be saying that when they be talking, man. I just don't understand for the life of me. Why would a person even waste mm. their breath if they really ain't got nothing to say for real? Why do people even open up their mouth? Because mm, they... Sometimes people like to, people just like to just hear themselves or, or some attention, which is like, like it's, it's attention, uh, fucking uh, crowd chasing. That's it's, all it's that. Fun. that all that. Fun. You don't told on yourself. Told on yourself. Oh, all, that. No. all that. All no. that. All that. Cloud chasing, attention, just calling because it's a phone number on the screen. But that's God why I got so damn. much love for you, brother, because God you damn. ain't have to call. You know I be needing calls, and you decided to call in. That's why you my brother, and I don't want to show my you man, nothing but man. love, man. Yo, and don't be no stranger, brother. You can call back whenever you feel like it. Real talk. Hey, man. appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, you. No yo. doubt. You told on yourself. All right, holla at you later, bro. No doubt, man. Where it at? I'll let you later. <clears throat> Yo, he did say something that was profound, though. Oh Look at this, y'all. Diddy claimed Mace owes him three milli. Calls him a fake-ass pastor. Oh my goodness. And the cow popped up just to let y'all know that they got beef. Diddy has smoke for Mace. And he's claiming it's all facts. Bad Boys founder appeared to be on The Breakfast Club and had choice words for the former collaborator. He said, just in general, the Mace thing, I did one album with Mace, one motherfucking album. How much money do you think I owe this guy? And then he became a fake pastor and went and conned people. Why would he have to do that, though? What was he doing that was so terrible that made him run and give his life to the Lord in the height of his career? They probably had him. With the booty bands doing squats with no draws on, man. Oh but so buff, people smack that ass for good luck. There's no telling what Diddy had Mace doing, but one thing for sure is a possibility that Jamie Foxx got it all on tape. That's why he laid up in the hospital like Tupac trying to figure it all out. It had to be that nigga Puffy. And if Jamie get out with an R&B diss track, you know it's going to be fire. He going to be playing them piano keys harder than the bitch. It was Puffy that set me up. Da -da 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 -da. His daughter going to be there to wipe his mouth and everything. I hope he ain't messed up bad like how they making it seem, yo. I'm still praying for Jamie Foxx because he a smooth brother and we don't want to see him jacked up. He too buff and too built for that. And I'm proud of his buff and buildness, man. We need to keep Jamie the way. Pray for Jamie Foxx, man. But they talking about they got cyber enhancements and shit. They gonna pull a Gucci main and he gonna come back with a six pack. So I'm gonna go up. It's a bunch of clones in Hollywood, but rightfully so. If you got the money, why would you ever want to pass away? Morgan Freeman be been reincarnated more times than Jesus. So y'all just ain't gonna call and y'all just ain't gonna hit that cash app neither. So you don't feel like you got what it takes to top the last caller? Oh, he got y'all beat. His conversation and vocabulary got you shaking in your boots like a bitch. He a hard act to follow. And you scared to death to pick up that phone cause you ain't on his caliber. Hit the cash app at least. Give yourself a little bit of dignity, man. And also hit them like buttons, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button if you can. I would appreciate that. And let me take this time to say that all this stuff in this video is alleged allegations, speculations. Diddy probably didn't even say nothing about Jamie Foxx, but it looked good for a title. My question for y'all is, who do you think was at those parties? Like we talked about earlier, Jennifer Lopez could have possibly been there and Jamie Foxx probably the reason how Jennifer met Diddy in the first place. So that's something to think about. And how low do Jamie Foxx go? Now, I know he bought his daughter into Hollywood, but 
do they party? Not like that, because she is a grown woman. But how close, like, do she hit the hookah with her father? Like, what's really going on with that situation, man? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl from New York City. Oh, uh, what's up, sister? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I watch your stuff, your yeah, commentary all the time. I be over here tickling him. Oh, it's man. like, yo, this dude is on fire. That's what's up. She said she be over there with the rose watching the video and everything. <laughs> it's like that. I got to crack my window and pop a bottle. Damn, crack that. Laugh. It be funky Sip up in there, huh? Me. Said she got to crack yeah, the nah, window it, and all that. Yo, listen, my... yeah. Go ahead. No, you from New York. I ain't never going to overstep my boundaries. You just going to say what you got to say, ma. All I'm going to say is that, you know, when you dance with the devil, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, let's let's look back. You know, um, Jamie Foxx, he's been playing like he was a woman this whole time. So I guess it's now time for him to spread that and really get it the way he got to get it. Um, you know, do I feel anything behind it? No, nope. I think like they taking him to clone him. I think they're going to do to him what they did to Gucci Mane. And I do feel that because he started speaking out saying stuff like, you know, he used to videotape parties and all that. And a lot of people had camcords back in the day. Because my older sisters, they had camcords back in the day and they still got tapes to this day, even though it may be stashed away somewhere in a warehouse. But there's always something you could stumble on. Like, wait a minute, I got that hard evidence evidence, and that proof. So I feel like, you know, it, has, it, it happened with what happened. Like, he's where he's at for a reason. And I think there's people, there's other people playing chess around him that's basically going to clean him out. So by the time he come to, he's not even going to be himself. He's going to be Whatever they make him out to be, whatever that is. Yo, the reason why exposing people in the past is so important, because back then they didn't have cameras everywhere like they do now. If they really mm -hmm. wanted to expose people today, they got you on your cell phone taking the shit. They got you on your cell phone watching porn. They got you on your computer. They got you in your TV, in your bedroom when you masturbating and all. You be farting in the middle of the night. They got video footage of your whole life. So exposing somebody in the 2000s ain't nothing. But if you could dig up something from the 90s, the 80s, the early 2000s, oh, you talking some big money. That's before Big Brother really sat his ass in your house and took over. But I could tell you something. I could drop some some jewels here. Um, if you were shift and shaker, you know about different things because back in the days you were in situations. Back in the days I was in situations because I had people around me that rapped. Mm -hmm. So we would go to concerts, we would go on tours and all that. And even though I was a youngin, I was there on a the strength of, I was with older people. And I saw a lot, even back in the 90s, I saw a lot. And I spoke about that on somebody else's channel the other night. They were blown away about what I told them. And it connects the dots to a lot of things and situations that you see this dude coming out now. Don't want to get off the subject saying he's, well, he's been out saying he's Jay-Z's son. It's a connection to that. It was a connection to stuff with Foxy. It's connection to stuff with Kim. I'm myself seeing a lot. I got dates, details, times, all that. And it's like, it just so happened that I was in certain situations that I know what I saw. And all, I'm, all I can say is what I saw, you know? And it's like, now I'm, I'm in the future. I'm like, wow, that was happening then. So it's like, now it's like we in this time of revelation. So everybody's getting exposed. So you're going to see everybody dropping all of them. All the ones we thought was Hollywood big stars back then. They time is coming now. They all going to be falling. And it just so happened that you got people that got serious. Like I tell you, I could drop. I can even tell right now. It's called in the Albany back in 1995. They had a they They were on tour, the bad boy tour. And they um, stopped in several state cities or whatever travel. One of the stops was in Albany. At that time, I was living out there. Right. And it was an arena that they played at, and it was called, back then, was the Knickerbocker Arena. Then they changed the name years later to the Pepsi Arena. A lot of things happened there, and across the street was a hotel called, called the Omni Hotel. So, I have legit stuff that I've seen where I was at, people's faces to this day. And I'm just, I'm, I'm in awe, like, I'm mesmerized, like, wow. Here we are in 2000, the year we at, and I'm like, all this is coming out, so I'm connecting the dots going back, like, yeah. Sounds about real. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about, yeah. From what Hold I saw. On, um, you talking about you was there. What they, was you doing there? Why are you talking about these celebrities? What was I'm you doing you up in there? there? 
because I was a starving like rapper. Like I wanted to, I was, a, I was writing music. I went to school for arts or whatever. Um, you know, so I was just, I, I was up there. I went to school up there. Then one, then I got, I got one of my best friends. She moved up there with me. Uh, my sister lived out there at the time, and we just so happened to relocate there because we went to school up there for no, college. No, my, what was you doing at the parties with them celebrities? Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't at the parties with the celebrities. What happened was after the concert, we had already booked the room because we knew where they're going to be staying. It's the any artist that goes up there, even back then, they had a Grateful Dead, Tom Petty, Heartbreakers. And my girlfriend, one of my one of my friends at the time, she used to work at the Nickelback Arena. She used to work for Friendly. So she would tell us, yo, who's coming in? She was like, yo, it's a bad boy tour. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Ma. Did you see somebody clapping them clappers or no? I saw a lot. I saw a lot. It's going to blow your mind, but I don't know if you're ready for it. So you, if you're asking me, just, 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 you got to be ready for what I'm... Because I wasn't going to say it. I just gave you like a little synopsis, but now you're trying no, to make me like really go in. We don't want no appetizers and little synopsis. And all. Right. We, we need to get straight all to right. the beef jerky and all that. No homo. Okay, no ho. All right, so here we go. Now you asked me, now you're going to get it. I wasn't really going to go there, but you asked me. Okay, here we go. So she told us, she was like, listen, y'all should stay at the Omni. It's across the street. It's on State Street in Albany across from the Nickelback Arena. She was like, because all the artists going to be here and they already booked in there. So get you your stuff now so y'all can be in there. So we got people people that we know to book our hotel rooms. We didn't know what you floor they were going to be on. The point. No, you ain't about to do that. All right, anyway. No, so, we ain't doing right, that. No, so, wait, wait. All right, been, I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed it up. You've been chasing your tail for like a whole hour now and all that. You still ain't right, dropped no I'm going to speed it up right now. So, two stories. So, we get, so, the concert ends. We go to the Omni. We get in our room. It just so happened that we are on the same floor with Jay-Z, Little Kim, Biggie, um, RL was on another floor. Baby, man, yeah. They was on another floor. It, it was... It was just a junior mafia. We were on the same floor with them, but we were around the corner. So I happened to be sipping whatever my girlfriend at the time. We was chilling. Then I started rapping, whatever the mold. And this dude was like, yo, I'm Jay-Z's um, DJ. He was like, yo, come with me. He was like, matter of fact, come me to my room. So we went over there. He was like, yo, go ahead, kick it. So I started rapping, whatever. whatever. He was like, yo, let me take you next door. He right down the hall. I got to let him hear you because he about to come out with, you know, Rockefeller Records. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, I'm going to take you to him now. He did. Now, what happened when I got in that room was a whole nother story. I saw a chick on the bed sitting there, you know, light-skinned chick. She had, like, little curly hair. She looked like she was mulatto, no more than 13, 14. And I will tell you that because people, somebody, the, the chicks that was in there, they brought her to the room. And it was a conversation being had that I heard, and I'll never forget. And they was like, yeah, she's 14. And he was asking her. Jay was on the bed. I said, yo, how old are you? Yo, da 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 la. She was like, oh, I'm 14. He was like, where you from? She was telling him da 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 this and that. And in the midst of everybody talking to her, the DJ's like, yo, Jay, I want you to meet her, da 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 She rapped. And then I, he was like, yo, you know, kick it. I started rapping. My best friend was sitting down. And it just got real weird at the time because there, there was other conversations happening around us. And I see these women going in and out the bathroom, you know, dressed like, you know, I would say, you know, the P word and, you know, and, and the T word. So if you put that together, it's like, okay, they brought this girl in here, what they doing behind the scenes. But then anywho, I rapped, he told me, listen, that sound hot. He was like, listen, I'm about to open up Rockefeller Records soon. He told me all the information. He was like, yo, contact me, hit me up in New York. I told him, yeah, I'm originally from New York, but I'm in Albany now in school. And he was like, don't worry about it. Just we're about to open it, you know, in a few months. And I was like, all right, good looking. So we exchanged the information. So me and my girlfriend left the room. And then when we left the room, we saw a little Kim coming out. She was coming out from the room next door. And I'm like, wait a minute. They were like lined up like on the, let's say they were on the left side. And then there was other rooms on the right. So then people was running around there, butt naked, doing all this crazy stuff. So Kim comes out. She had a bottle of champagne, a glass. And we like, hello. She's like, hi, how y'all doing? So then she, the door opened up for her across the hall. And when it opened up, it was mad dudes in there barely the clothes on and I'm like yo why is this girl going into this why is this chick going into it because I could tell she's young she's mad tiny going in there months later I hear on the radio she's in the hospital because she had all that thing you know backed up semen in her gut so yeah 
And that's you, the first part. So you was just observing. You ain't do nothing strange for no change up in there. Hell no, I ain't do nothing strange. I didn't need to do nothing because I was I was just trying to like rap, get in the business. I wasn't into nothing. I wasn't into any sexual, none of that. Nah, I wasn't into that. It was just funny to see to me like, wow, look at all the, the we around the rappers. They here. It was just, it was like more or less like, wow. You know, it's going to go down because they had us in the newspaper, too. We, we ended Yo, up in the newspaper. Pause, pause. Hit the break skirt, which is wait a minute. Oh Hold up. You didn't give me the opportunity to ask you to tell the people to hit the subscribe button out there and to hit Dad, the like button. Hit can, Yo, can you tell them to hit that like button? Hit that, so hit that like button because what I'm about to say next is going to blow your mind. Y'all yeah. listening for a reason. Y'all yeah. better support my boat because I'm telling you, I'm not going to drop the fire. Uh -oh. All right? I'm giving you the little bits of stuff, but what I'm going to say next is uh -oh. going to take some out the frame. It's uh -oh. going to connect the dot. Uh-oh. So you know what? Y'all need to... Dot. Yo, if y'all want to hear what she got to say, y'all better hit them like buttons or else she ain't going to be able to say... Oh, damn. But nah. Ma, they not hitting the like buttons, though. Yeah, I can't say part two because it, it's, yeah. it's getting real juicy. No and I'm going to tell you the year. I'm going to drop them a I got so love for you, sister. Like and don't you be no stranger. When they get them likes up, then we're going to let you tell the other side. But it's looking like they just ain't hitting the button. And no, that's why but I you don't got, want you to be no stranger, so make them And call it. back whenever you feel like it. No doubt. Why y'all do her like that? She asked y'all nicely to hit the like button. She was going to drop some more juice and all that. But y'all so busy hating on me, she wasn't able to tell her elegant story, man. See what that hating get you? It don't get you nowhere. Now we ain't gonna know what Jay-Z allegedly did with the chick on the bed. She was gonna talk about how Biggie blew up the bathroom and Buster Rhymes had to take a dump off the balcony allegedly, man. Y'all ain't gonna be able to hear none of them exclusive stories. But that's Negro here nor there, man. I got so much love for y'all. This is all allegations and speculations. We don't know what really happened with Jamie Foxx. They not telling us. People believe that Diddy has something to do with it because he known for putting brothers in the hospital confused, like Tupac. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, this this boss is a talk. What up, though, Blaze? How Yo, you? Man. man, I'm over here feeling great now that you called in, brother. Yo, what's on your mind, man? Man, I'm chilling, man. What the question was, how many people we thought was at them parties? No, who do you think was at them parties? Like, who specifically do you everybody. think? Everybody. Everybody. Come on, man. Like, all right, look. So, look. Let me be real with you for a second. So, you as a... As a... You 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 a, a bit great, of a celebrity, a great, feel me? Yeah, a, a great YouTuber, celebrity, yeah, You got 830 person, people watching eight, now. 830 people watching. haters. I am the Denzel Washington of YouTube. Get that correct. Feel me? So, so, you know what it's like to be some sort of in that celebrity lifestyle. Oh, so you just you ain't think gonna about give the me duality. My, no, bro, you ain't going to do that. You just ain't going to give me my props. I'm some you sort a celebrity. of a, kind of a, like a celebrity. You somebody, you almost somebody. Either you going to tell me I ain't shit or no. You a celebrity. The yeah, only thing is, no see, the reason why I don't stream is because people is nosy. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to swear. People is nosy and they want to see what you look like and they want to see it all the time and they want to see what you're doing. So when you're doing something, they can call the police and swat you. But hang on, let me get back on top of it though. So in that celebrityness, you live the duality to where it's like you get invited to a party. Yeah, it might be hosted by P Diddy. It might be a little sketchy, but you just got invited to a party by P Diddy. Is you not going to go? Hell yeah, you going to go. So everybody was at them joints. So everybody was at them joints. Everybody was getting zesty and down and dirty and doing this and that. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 already you know. The question kind of answers itself. Unless you ain't but, nobody in Hollywood. But is there anybody that you think wouldn't play themselves on that level to where they wouldn't even um do all that with Diddy? Or you think everybody get there and play themselves completely just to be around P. Diddy? I mean, it ain't just to be around P. Diddy because you got to think P. Diddy got other people around too, feel me? So you might go to P. Diddy party, you might run into Birdman. You know, they all be greasy lip kissing people. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not, neither, allegedly, allegedly. No doubt. But you might, I mean, think about the networking you could do at a party like that. You would be a fool if you was trying to come up and you didn't go. So, you know, everybody was, man, you didn't hear Cat Williams stand up. He was talking about, 
He went to one of them parties. He was like, is that two dudes kissing? Oh, one of them Professor Ogilvy? Oh, shit. Feel me? So they be in there like that, just lip to lip, uh, mouth to mouth. All that. All that. Unless you got like a set group and you be like, you know, I'm I'm a smoker. I hang with the smokers. I'm not trying to do nothing extra. Then, you know what I'm saying? You probably could, you know, go in the back room and whatever and then you know go about your go about your regular lifestyle but that lifestyle i mean think about the level of elevation it would bring you to just to go to one of them parties just to say you was there yeah just, just to be just outside to the gate yeah to take a picture with a celebrity like people will pay thousands of dollars just to take a picture with beyonce and jay-z what people will pay millions but that's crazy though for what though Man, just to feel like a somebody. You see me with somebody, so that automatically make me a somebody. All right, so I, I'm getting I'm gonna get off topic with this, but isn't it isn't what makes you somebody? Isn't that in your own mind how you view your own image? You feel yeah, me? Yeah, but not to the world. You know, that's a beautiful thing to feel that way about yourself. But when it comes to people that you don't know. And they don't know you, they don't give up about you. But if you next to a celebrity, then people will drop your draws for you. That's that fake love. You see all these rappers dying and nobody never heard of them till they die. And then all of a sudden everybody. Oh, R.I.P. Mm -hmm. This dude, R.I.P. that dude. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to bring you into no copyright lane, so I'm not going to say no names, but. Think about how many hip hop artists or rappers we done lost over the last couple years, feel me? So many of them, man, and they gone and ain't nobody even thinking about them no more. Except for the, when they die. Except for when they die. Like Biggie said, you're nobody till somebody kills you. And Diddy know all about that. Yup. And I, I ain't gonna hold you too long. I gotta get up out of here anyways. I came home to let my dog out. I wanted, I've been wanting to call in for a minute because I'm like, man, I'll be in here. I, I I like what you're doing. I see your numbers going up. No doubt. Uh, give you props to that. Where I got? hope that you stay safe, but you stay dangerous. And I hope them numbers keep going up. Yo. And I just called in one number but love, though. Yo, that ain't nothing but love, brother. And I want to thank you and appreciate you for calling in. And don't be no stranger, man. Go ahead and walk the dog. We're going to holler at you later. Real talk, man. All right, man. No be doubt, smooth, man. one. I'm out of here. Worry that. Yeah. Yo, shout out to that brother for calling in, showing mad love, man. And he says some things that got me really thinking. People should really care about themselves more. People should be loving on themselves more, man. When you wake up in the morning, you're supposed to say, good morning, beautiful. Reassure yourself. You don't got to uh, have nobody else do it for you, man. Do it for yourself, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Blaze, what's up, man? That's Hollywood GMT. What's the word, man? Uh oh, the homie in the building, man. I don't know if you heard. But Diddy allegedly want Jamie Foxx to come up off of them sex tapes, man, because back in the day, it was going all the way down. But people couldn't connect the dots. You would see a picture with a bunch of celebrities like, oh, they just chilling. But now it's looking like they was doing more than just chilling. They got a picture of Aaliyah in the bed with Dame Dash Diddy, Andre Harrell and J-Lo pillows all over the place. What you think they was doing? Oh you already know what the fuck they was doing. They was running the train on the Lewis. You know, they was out there doing all the nasty nasties with the nasties. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. You know, look, this shit is so fucked up, though, Blaze. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga here, puff, 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 pity, pity, puff, 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 This nigga here. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this man. Once he want to be a gangster, next he want to be a fairy. Which one is it? Man, he might be a little bit of both, and some of the biggest gangsters be the biggest fairies, bro. Hey, I think the gangsters niggas is the ones that take a dick in their ass like that. Though. Hey, like, bro, you ain't about to be calling up this sounding or talking all nasty. You got young people, old people, people I'm get sorry, off Blaze, work to call head, up here. Head, you call though, up Blaze. here with the raggedy mouth with liquor on your breath, I'm talking sorry, all Blaze. nasty I'm and all sorry, that. Blaze. You dead wrong for that disrespect to my platform. You trying to get me demonetized and all that. No, you ain't even I'm got not, no Blaze. jaw. I'm sorry, Blaze, my bad. B is just this very dude here. Wanna mess it up for everybody in the industry. Like, I don't need no nigga like Diddy to make it big. I just need a nigga like Blaze to put me on that platform. Pause, bro, pause. Did you just hear yourself? 
You said yeah, you I don't did. need a nigga like Diddy to make it big. You just need somebody like Blaze to put you on the platform. So yeah, you trying, you like all up in my party talking about dinglings or what now. You being zesty on my platform got nerve to be talking about Diddy. Hey, Blaze. Hey, Blaze. You steal my dog at the end of the day. I'm just saying. No doubt. This a dick in a booty ass. Uh, you know what? That, that's your, that was the third strike, buddy. And we won't be having it no more. You obsessed with penises and butts, man. And then you said you all you need is for me to put you on the platform so you could get freak nasty. And that's exactly what you're doing. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, brother. Who raised you? And don't call back no more with your zesty ass. God, man. Yo, somebody. Oh, my God, man. He too grown to be acting like that. That was somebody grandfather, y'all. And you wonder why a brother can't get no respect out here in these streets. As soon as somebody try to shake your hand, you open up your raggedy ass mouth and ain't no telling what's going to come out that motherfucker, man. I pray for my brothers like that. And I know all my brothers ain't like that, boy. Why in the hell they let him out of jail, man? Is this nigga calling back? That better not be him calling back. Oh, I think that nigga calling back. Oh, my God. He about to get blocked. I yo, yo. Hello, brother. hello. Who this is, man? And I know my brothers ain't like that, boy. Yo, we need man. you to cut that off, bro. Please. The hell they let Jay, okay, man. something wrong with his phone or something. I don't get what's my wrong bad, with My him, bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, oh, no doubt. You still there, bro? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, word up. Yo, whatever's on your mind, let us know, brother. Man... Man, what I just heard, man, I don't know what's up with old boy, man. I don't know, man. He was using a lot of uh, different different things, man, that I, I don't really associate with, man. Yo, me neither. But, I don't uh, know what that was about, though. But how you feel about this Jamie Foxx got them tapes of everybody in Hollywood allegedly doing stuff they ain't got no business doing? See, see the thing is, why did Jamie Foxx got them tapes? Because he trying to be the next R. Kelly, but on some other stuff. I mean, I, my bad. I ain't trying to call out R. Kelly. Let me take it somewhere else. Anyways, you know oh what I'm saying? Goodness. Yeah, man, I don't know what's up with all these tapes, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? DVDs, can we move on, man? Can we get to the, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of old-fashioned to me, man. So you saying Jamie need to take them tapes and put them on DVDs and you will be more interested? Let me find out. You got a cassette player, a CD player, <laughs> and you got a DVD player over there. Yeah, man, I got to stay, you know, ahead of the times, bro, because these cats, that's why they're getting caught up, man. They staying, they, they, they not upgrading their game. They not. Hold you know on, man. Saying? How are you staying exactly. ahead of the times and you got a cassette player, a CD player, and a DVD player? What's so futuristic about that that got you ahead of the curve? Oh, no, 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 because I got my files, my files, man. You know what I'm saying? Up here. Now he talking so about better. he got an eight track and a typewriter, man. How old are you for real? I got a cloud, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all in the cloud. Yo, man, so you I must be up in the tape. clouds smoking all that weed. We don't know what the hell you talking about right now. But my question oh, yeah, for you is, bro. Right yo, who do you think was at those Diddy sex parties, man? Who a celebrity you think was up in there getting freak nasty? You think Rick Ross snatched his shirt off with the booby boys and got freaky? Man, I think they had Orlando Brown. I think they, yep, yeah, you probably right, man. They probably had Chris, Chris, uh, Chris, uh, Brown fighting Usher. You know what I'm saying? They had all types of stuff going down, man. I don't know, man. They probably had uh, Christina Aguilera for all we know. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her too. Hit me. Mm mm. Bro, you get two thumbs down. <laughs> Is this Orlando Brown? Since you're speaking about him, as soon as you said that, the light bulb went off in my head. Yo, Orlando, if you want to do an interview, the last one you did didn't do so great, but I'm pretty sure we could spice it up for you, brother. Hey, man, shit, man. You need to do something, man. Yo, this is what I need you to do. Yo, this is what I need you to do. I need you to tell them people to hit them like buttons out there and show me some love, brother. Hey, man, hit them like buttons for your boy, man. Sean mm -hmm, Blake, man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Keep it cracking, man. Y'all hit the cash app, man. Yo, and tell you, that's... All cheap, bro. Right. right. Now you talking, Damn. bro. I was doubting you before, but now you said something when you said that right there. 
Yeah, man. Get the damn cash out, man. Yo, yeah, so that's what it is, bro. Word up, man. Yo, you did me a favor with that one, homie. And since you did that, I'm going to show you mad love and ask you to not be a stranger and call back whenever you feel like it, dog. No doubt. We're going to holler at you later, big bro. All right, holler at you, man. No doubt. You be easy, brother. No doubt. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, this is Jessica. How are you? Oh, man, I'm doing amazing. How you feeling, ma? I'm feeling really well. That's I feel great. so bad for all the po- the negativity around you, though. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I honestly just wanted to say, if Diddy is really gay, who cares? Let him be oh, him. And not doing it with younger children, if that's what he's being accused of, but... Um, I don't think anybody has a room to judge yet because we don't have all the information. You know what, sister? You said something that was so profound. If Diddy, Jamie Foxx, any of these celebrities decide to go whatever the way they want to go, if that's what makes them happy, then go for it. Exactly. And I don't understand the hate um, against Diddy for being gay. I mean, it's the 21st century but um anyways i'm all about positive thoughts affirmations um literally some of the you know people that have been affected by this it's sad and i hope it's not true about jamie fox being poisoned but literally again we can't judge we have no room to judge anyone and you know what ma we gotta be real and this gonna sound zesty but who ain't a little gay in 2023 i had a chick tell me a chick the other day told me to move and i jumped and ran the other way man do you think that was zesty (laughs) i would never have told you to move in the first place so yeah but my reaction is what made it zesty if i would have just simply moved but i jumped and ran down the street man left my wallet and everything (laughs) oh no 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 don't do that not all girls are like that i promise Yo, man, it's some tough, strong, bold, masculine women out here, man. And it's hard when you're in a relationship and your female try to challenge you. It's like, damn, we about to be up uh, in here wrestling. See, I'm an intuitive medium. And literally when people are doing that, it is usually more about themselves than it is you. So remember that. So when a woman try to challenge you in any situation... It's because she got some personal stuff going on? Yes, definitely. Most definitely. Why would you want to challenge somebody unless you have issues with yourself? Man, that's some cold game, but it's the truth. Yeah. Yes, it is the truth. Honestly, when people show hate, there's something going on in their lives that are making them do that. Right up. That so they're you... not happy with themselves. And you said you a medium, so... You always eat your food rare, or do you like anything well done? Like, how'd that go? <laughs> I like I like all of it. I like rare, medium, and well done. That's what's up, man. This conversation ain't well done yet because I got one more question for you, Ma. Who do you think was at those Diddy sex parties? I'm talking about he been with everybody in Hollywood, but just because they was at his parties don't mean that they was having sex but people nowadays is thinking if you was around diddy at a party nine times Mm -hmm. out of ten somebody poked you with something yeah i i believe that he's dave i think a lot of them dabble in it i i think travis scott dabbles in it um a lot of those people but again like if that's what they want to do i can't picture it um, cause you know, it, ugh. I mean, two girls together is a little different than two guys together. Um, so, so you could tolerate seeing two females get bug nasty, but as far as two dudes, you ain't going to be able to stomach it, huh? No, I wouldn't be able to. I can't, I can't even handle the commercials where the two guys are kissing. <laughs> I can, I, that sounds bad. You but, just got done uh, saying that ain't nothing wrong with them swinging that way. But now you're talking about you gag no, every time you isn't. see two men embrace each other no i don't gag i literally it's women are beautiful creatures you know like women are and so are men um i'm just saying literally 
Um, I, I can see two females together easier than I can see two males together, but I honestly do not judge them. I wish them the best, and if that's what they want to do, then that's what they should do. And, so, and instead of hiding it, come out and talk. Be an advocate, of hiding it. an advocate for it. Yes. Advocate that's real. for it. Advocate for it. Come out and talk about it. Don't be ashamed about it. Embrace it. Exactly. If that's how you want to live, live your life. You only got one life to live. Live it the way you want to live it, you know? Exactly. You got me. But if you see them kissing on camera, you're going to turn the channel and all that. Uh, I mean, it depends on... It depends on how deep they're getting into it. But you will watch two females all up in each other's crevices with no problem. But come on... There's a big difference with women. I mean, even, I mean, even in the Roman age, Roman ages, this was happening. I mean, like for both sexes, um, we're having male on male, female on female. This is nothing new. You know what, man? I ain't trying to be disrespectful, but this hip hop stuff is not your genre. Tell us about some medium psychic type of stuff, man. What do you see happening with Jamie Foxx? Is he in the afterlife? Is he still with us? Because we really don't know. He's still with us. Uh I think I don't know that he's in stable condition at all. I don't think I think that's a lie. I think he is very unstable and hence why nobody's saying anything. Um, But I don't feel his soul on the other side at all. Not at all yet. He's still here with us, but he's doing really, really bad. Yes. He's not doing so good. And do you think... all I can say is pray, pray, pray. Yo, everybody out there, say your prayers for Jamie Foxx. I know this is supposed to be entertainment and everything, but he need it. So send them prayers out there. How do you feel about his daughter talking about, oh, he don't need the prayers. He's out playing pickleball. He's been out the hospital for weeks. Um... It, it bothers me that she would lie to his fans like that because they truly have a vested interest in him. Um, so why lie to those people that support him and her? I mean, they, you know, you know what I'm saying? We pay to go see their movies and all of those things. Um, there are people out there that have a very vested interest in knowing that he's okay. Genuinely, people care. So... They need to recognize that and not think that we're all just groupies, you know. You, you know what I mean? We do care. And At least I do. Yeah, a lot of us genuinely care because it's always good to see somebody uh, find a calling and display their talents for our entertainment. And Jamie definitely did that. Hopefully he can get back to doing that. Is there anything else you want to say to the people before we get out of here? Because I'm walking out right after you, ma. No, I just want to say I just found your show tonight. I liked it. I loved it. And I hit the like button and subscribe. And I was very amazed by how thoughtful you were with others. And I'm amazed by how beautiful your conversation is and how elegant and your frequency of your spirit is just amazing. I had to let you know that because... I ain't Aww. never had a caller like you before. This is your first time calling, but this is my first time having somebody that I connect with on another type of level, man. I think it's amazing. I know what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Spirit, no spirit connection. It's beautiful. I'm loving it, man. You got to make sure this ain't your last time, because if it is, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be very, very sad about it, you know? I'm pretty sure I hit all notifications, mm. so I will be getting every show you do. Oh, man. Yo, I'm good to go. You good to go, but I don't want to <laughs> let you go, and that's the problem. But I got to. Yeah. But until next time, you know, I'm I'm just going to be waiting. Okay. I, I will call you again. Oh, man. Oh, yo, I'm looking for. Matter of fact, I'm going to hurry up and get out of here so when I go live again, then I'll be able to talk to you sooner. So it, it might be tomorrow. Okay. So keep a lookout. Okay, you have a good night, All right, you too. All right, take care. Prayers for you. No doubt. Prayers for you and Jamie Foxx. All right, take care, ma. Thanks, babe. All right, goodbye. No doubt. That was amazing, man, to have all these varieties of different types of callers, even the hood ones and the good ones. It's all good, man. I got so much love for y'all. And for the people that hit them like buttons, I really do appreciate y'all. As far as Jamie Foxx and Diddy, 
Diddy doing all right, Jamie not, but pray for the both of them because Diddy probably got some stuff going on in his life. We, we never know. These celebrities, they be going through stuff too. It ain't easy being a celeb, man. The stuff they got to live with, I'm pretty sure Diddy be waking up in cold sweats. He wake up in the middle of the night talking about baby, baby. The ghost of Biggie haunting him. He go to the bathroom and think he saw a pock in the mirror. Oh like, I'm going to get you, nigga. Yo, them nightmares got to be a motherfucker. Black Rob in the studio. Tell me, why ain't you help me, man? He wake up in the middle of the night. Loon sitting in the shadow reading the Bible. Sweating. Whew. Them nightmares got to be a beast. Faith Evans laying next to him talking about, I love you, big. I wouldn't want to be Puff. Every time you go to the grocery store, it's some big fat dude that look like Suge Knight. Like, is that Suge? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, yeah, this is Crystal from Detroit. Oh, uh, what's going on? Crystal from the D on the phone. I was about to get out of here, but now I ain't going nowhere. What's on your mind, Ma? Uh, I was just uh, telling because the, the topic you were talking about. Who do you think uh, was at these Diddy parties, that was sex parties? Man, it could have been anybody. Who do you think was there? Everybody. 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 Come on now. Look how, okay. You don't stay in Hollywood and not have been to one of Diddy's parties. Mm -hmm. You just, that's just reality. I mean, come on now. That's not, that shouldn't even be a question. Everybody should know that. But you know what? People in Hollywood is looking for the party. Either it's going to be with Diddy or somebody else. They like, oh, when Prince was alive, people would leave the award show like, fuck that. We going to Prince's house. He got waffles and shit. You heard them on um, Dave Chappelle stories. Absolutely. And what, 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 what old boy say? Uh, cocaine, hell drug. What's his name? <laughs> Rick James. Rick James. He, he said every last one of them was true story. And... He even let you know that they were doing cocaine. So, if, come on now. Rick J was doing cocaine. All those uh, celebrities was doing cocaine back in the day was doing hard drugs. They all party together. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new. Everybody just have a level of partying, but they all, they, they all get down with each other. And that's where partying goes left, man, because it ain't like it's a birthday party. Or they had the skating ring. We talking about they like the party. Like what is yes. up? They be like popping them gala. X. Yeah, popping them X pills. Next thing you know, they shaking hands. That handshake lasts for a long time. Handshake turned into something else. Mm -hmm. Close and the they door. They tell you. They tell you this though. Even in the comedy, it's truth behind a behind a laugh because they telling us the truth. They telling us, even in the comedy, I even just comedy in the cartoons and the movies. <laughs> they telling you what they're doing. Yeah, man. They they've been telling us for a long time. So why in 2023 we act like everything is brand new? Like you hear about somebody being on the DL. We make it seem like it's the first time ever somebody was zesty. Or yeah, people having parties in Hollywood. Like they ain't been having parties since the since Hollywood began. My point exactly. And see, I was going to comment on what you had said. You was like to pray for Diddy and stuff like that. I mean, I pray for all of them because they all sick, but this is this is something they chose to do. It's not like we praying for some, some people that, oh, they didn't know, so they, they ignorant to it, so they just got caught up in it. This is a lifestyle they chose from day one. So pray for their souls, yes, but they are they already gone. Like, literally, what are we praying for? Just like you said, pray for Jamie. What are, what are we praying for, a ghost? <laughs> what are we praying for? We don't even know where this man is at. I mean, no we doubt. Really know. <laughs> we kind of really know because when they said he was in the hospital and then we didn't hear anything, I'm like, okay, they're trying to figure out, are we going to say he's dead or are we going to clone him? We got to keep – they don't even know what they're going to do with him. <laughs> so they're like, well, they're probably still working on the clone. So they don't even know what to – they don't know how to uh, uh, press – conference or a statement because they don't even know what they're going to do maybe the clone malfunction and stuff. so they don't know what to say they don't know they don't want to say that he dead <laughs> yet because they you, probably like dang <laughs> you, you know what it is sister <laughs> the world has a vendetta 
against a lot of brothers out here. That's basically what it is, man. Ever since the presidency with Barack Obama, people been given a cold shoulder. I mean, it already been cold, but now it got like a thousand icicles on it. Jamie Foxx is being treated like this and discarded like this in the media simply for the fact that he's a brother and he's a successful one at that. Oh, we really going to shit on him. He's like the Hollywood Barack Obama. He ain't about to get no love out here in these streets. Well, not anymore. Because remember, they all came into the business, so they all had to do something to get to that level. I guess when you get to a level and you just like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. It's like you can't say no at this point. You can't say no. You got to go through with it, even if you're 50-something years old. That's Absolutely. why I respect the celebrities that get somewhere and play the cut. They take their money, invest in other businesses. They ain't got to be in every movie. I feel like where Jamie messed up is he ain't know when to sit his ass down. You doing all yeah. these movies for what? Is your paper jacked up or no? Mm-hmm. Same for Will Smith. It's like, that's the same thing that happened to Will Smith because he, he, he did a lot of strange things too. <laughs> like one of the, somebody else brought it up like when he played when um oh when um what's his name that he smacked uh, Chris, Chris Rock. Rock was playing that little thing on, on the Rest Prince of Bel-Air they then had some of that going on cause just imagine how many takes they have to do <laughs> for you to get those parts right so you have to read the script anyway so for you to read the script before you even audition for it, you got to read the script to even audition for it. So they know they know all the zesty stuff they got to do before they even get the script, before they even audition for it. So they all zesty. <laughs> like, yeah, and like Chris, that. he was willing to take the role. He came, like you said, they had to rehearse with the dress, with the wig. Yes. And... <laughs> yeah, that's yes. a, I would have slapped his ass too because I you already know he, um you know, he ain't no real one like that. It's not just the men, it's the, the black females too. So you already know how it goes in Hollywood, especially with black people, just like the Chloe Bailey being turned out. They they did the same thing for Holly Berry. Like they turn all those females out, all of them. Um, and the ones that they, they don't turn, that they try to walk away, they give them like little drugs and they become oh crackheads. Goodness. Like what's the pretty girl in off that was on that? In the house, LL Cool J show. She was really pretty, but they, I mean, I guess she was against the grain. So look at her, she a you know, crackhead, and then the other pretty girl that was on um, Parenthood, Parenthood, <clears throat> at one point she was messed up, and then the pretty girl, what's her name, Lisa Turtle off of uh, Say by the Bell, she was drugged out too, they, they said she was schizophrenic. Hold on, I found you, my 1980s flame, you know all of the old movies, all of the old actresses, all of that, man. You was raised up on that Saved by the Bell or whatnot. I finally found you, my Yo, we need to get together and reminisce about the past because you been there. You watch Boy Meets World and all that good shit with Topanga and all that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Nickelodeon with they, guts. They, they, they last. They last in Hollywood. The black ones, they don't last. Like, they don't. <clears throat> yo, they definitely don't be lasting, man. But I think Black Hollywood is so cut, though, because they not trying to let anybody get in the door. Like, who's your sister? Alpha Pi, Alpha Sigma Phi Fafa. They on that type of shit. Like, if you ain't in our clique, then you ain't about to get a lick. That's true. That's true. Why you think? Okay, let, let's talk about it. I think you did a, you did a video on Megan, and she was like, oh, you, she was mad at the driver because they was going to have her late to get to the Beyonce sleepover or whatever. And look what happened to her. She is, they, I don't hear her music on the radio here. Like, <laughs> she just disappeared and she was taken over by Glorilla. And now we got this Ice Spice. I don't even know who she is. But, I mean, she, she off the scene now. Yo, I mean, Ma, yo, not to change the subject, but do you think the black actresses back in the 70s and 60s, you think they was getting turned out too with the afros and all that? Oh, Pam, yeah, yeah, they was trying to. They were trying to turn them out, and, like, that's why they was giving them, like, little, you know, drugs, and then they got, yeah, that's why you don't see them no more. If you look, if you look at all the black uh, actresses that was on those shows, TV shows, you read the stories. Or, like, even the girl off of, what's her name? The one Judy. Dorothy Judy Dandridge. Of, you think they turned her out? Dorothy? I think they tried. 
I think they try, yeah. Yo, I ain't going front. I read Dorothy Dandridge's story and all that. She was on some other shit. Like, she was in on um, Paris and all that, doing them a ride. They ain't even want her over there. She was the Megan Thee Stallion of her time. Yes, Better yet, yes. she was like the little Kim of her time. It was like, nah, <laughs> we ain't doing none of that hoochie mama shit. She like, no, y'all gonna accept the hoochie. Yeah, but if you, if you read about all those females, they were, they were, they were, they were thotting back in the day. <laughs> yeah, they were some was straight bad. up. They was on some thought shit and going to other countries trying to introduce them to thoughtism, and they wasn't having it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been like that for a long time. They just, I mean, really, Black Hollywood don't really have like they they play the men so bad. Martin, Bernie, Mac. I mean, all of them. They play them so bad. That, why, why do you think that you got A listers and you got like D listers? Because the ones that they that don't play the game, they they get washed away. Like um, Brandon Jackson, I remember his interview on Vlad. He said uh, the worst thing he ever did was putting on that dress with Martin mm. when he played his son. He said his career went downhill after that. He said he just, he wasn't himself anymore. So he kind of stepped out of acting. So after he did the Big Mama sequel, his shit mm-hmm. was done. Yep, yep. That's what he said. Damn, man. So that's what he get for being a bitch, you know, because they I'm pretty sure they could have had somebody else do it, but he wanted to do it. He didn't really want to. He thought it was going to boost his career, but he said that was the biggest mistake he ever made in his life was doing putting on that dress. And, wow, uh, and, man. And then, yeah. They had him looking like Raven Simone with the dress on. <laughs> yes. If you look at that Vlad uh, interview, he, he hated that, the fact that he did that. And they had him looking all purdy with the arm. Yes. He had the wig flipped to the back and everything. Yes. yes. So a lot of them, they, I mean, they they choose them, they sold over the career because they, you know, like the ones, once they said they wasn't, they wasn't going to put their music out or whatever, they, some of them just left. Like, okay, that's fine. And that just goes leave. to show how low can you go. And Martin being an elder, Martin should have pulled him to the side like, look, young blood, this ain't the route you want to take. Yeah, yeah, I did it, but I regret it. Martin sat there, put on the dress with him, mm-hmm. and did a whole motherfucking movie with this man. Yep. Yep. He said that's the worst mistake he ever did. He regretted it. Now he done. Don't nobody want to take he, you seriously. No. Nope. Unless you're going to do a Joanna Man sequel with old boy. <laughs> Yep, so they all get washed away. Like, yeah, yeah. Yo, it'd be different if they weren't trying to make fun of black women. And that's the reason why they getting bit in the ass so bad. Why do brothers line up to make fun of sisters, man? And that's all this is doing. Um, Shanae Wanda, Big Mama. This is like the horrible black stereotype being played out by black men. Like, why would they even want to do that? Oh, like Norbit. Norbit, too. <laughs> Yo, that shit was horrible towards sis. Like, big sister sassy. They they disrespect they man. They be cheating and shit. Yep, cheating. No, no. <laughs> Yo, but keep it real, Bob. Keep, keep it real. Oh, man. Keep, keep, keep it real. It do go oh. down like that, though. No, but no, for real. But guess what? That's what they like to do, though. The- you get what I'm saying? They they wanted this, but see the irony, the flip side of that, the crazy part. When Dave Chappelle was doing all those skits back in the day, yeah. he was making fun of that, but it was funny. He said Hollywood called him up one time and told him we got a black president coming out. He was like, this when they Barack, they was grooming Barack to come in, and he was like, uh, they got a black president coming out. He was like, yeah. So what we need you to do is lay back off the black joke. That's mm. what, that's what he said. They told him to do. He said, "No, that's that's my skill. That's what I do. That's how you. Do. That's my my thing." They were like, "No, we got we working on this thing. We got a black president. We grooming, and we need you to cut back on those black jokes." He he didn't want to do it, so they offered him that fifty mil and some other stuff, and he was like, "Nope." And Damn. He ran to Africa. He was that he much of a sellout. He didn't want to stop doing black jokes. No, he said because the crowd loved it. He was it was for the black audience. No, the you know? hell it was not. It was for black people that couldn't tell that they was being picked on. <laughs> but but he said it was just a joke because that he was able to do that. Cause we joke with each other and make make the stuff they say about us. We can joke about it. No, you know but that's the thing though. 
when this shit get to overseas and all across the world, why you think they look at us like clowns when they come to the country? They'll step over a black person because they've been watching the Chappelle show and shit before they even got off the plane. But it was funny. You, you look, it, 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 it stepped him, his game up real. Well, guess what? Well, didn't nobody know about no Dave Chappelle until, until that show came out. And he got clout for that. It was a mockery. And that's what all these rappers do, all these entertainers do. They get a bag off of a mockery, and we mm-hmm. hold them up to an esteem like they ain't getting over on the people, man. Yeah. But that's not why they were saying it. <laughs> that's not why they were telling him to lay off of it. It was the white, it was white Hollywood telling him to do that. Because... I could talk to you all night long. I ain't even front. You are the one man i don't know if you heard about my situation but i was supposed to be getting married shorty called it off yeah because of a cheesecake and everything you need to get on my ig and um like some of my stuff because i ain't got no followers if you could follow me over there like i would appreciate that and i love you to death sister don't you be no stranger ever never ever ever man i'm loving your vibes man Okay, I'll follow you on IG. <laughs> Yo, that's what it is. Please do that, man. And don't be no stranger. And when I go live again, feel free to call back. You heard? I will. <laughs> All right, no doubt, ma. We're going to holler at you later. Real talk, man. Where the... Yo, that's the type of woman that you call up and sit back with a bowl of ice cream. You don't even need no TV, no radio, no nothing. Just start the conversation. She going to make it good. She got interesting points and facts. She's amazing, man. And she got me excited about life, man. Hopefully she follow me on IG. And all these videos is old videos and stuff. I wouldn't dare do nothing like this no more. I'm working on new content. So when you get there and you see all this goofy shit, homie sitting on the toilet, look at look at this. No, I ain't even going to play that. That's embarrassing, man. That's the old Sean Blazer 10. I don't grew and matured. So don't judge me off of the content on there. Judge me off of the content that's coming, man. I got so much love for y'all. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button. And for the people that did, hit the like button and join the channel. And also hit me up on IG. I left the link in the description box. We got to get that IG popping, man. Because I got so much I'm about to be sharing with y'all. And hit that cash app too. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. Let me see if anybody hit it before I get out of here, man. Show you the love that you deserve before I get up out the door, man. Hold up. Sharon Ferguson hit the cash app and said, thanks for the great content. Yo, thank you for the cash app. Thank you for your support. And thank you for being beautiful, man. Yo, I'm going to holler at y'all on the next show. That's street life. I'm in these streets because I be living that street life. I give y'all the dollar.